Greetings everyone and welcome back to Satisfactory. Since our first video, I have been working diligently to boost the production of our factory, but I haven't unlocked anything yet. I kind of think at least initially that's something we should do ourselves. Another thing we have to do pretty soon actually is put down our space elevator and I do have what I need for that, including a lot of extra materials. Now first, let's talk about what I did in the meantime. You might notice there's a lot of cables around here, and unfortunately it got a little messy in here. Yeah, what happened is I basically wired everything together. All the way down to the, uh, the copper section over there, you can see the cables going all the way over there. And if you're looking down towards the limestone where we're making concrete, I also have that cabled as well. I actually only needed one power pole for that too. They have a very long distance. Now I've also added this, and that's basically exactly what I said I was going to do. This is the production line that is making me screws. So we have a miner over here, and then we have the, uh, the smelter, and we have the first constructor. So the first constructor is taking the ingots and turning them into rods. The second constructor, is taking the rods and turning them into screws and of course they're all getting dumped in here and I have a lot of screws I'm actually carrying some screws too because we're gonna need them down there we have a goodly amount I think we have about 2,000 uh, concrete I am carrying concrete on me too and as a matter of fact I did find another spawn of limestone on the hill above where the copper was so I ran a line down for that I'm just trying to go over here oh and in terms of our rods and our plates we're doing all right even though I did take a lot of them because we're gonna need a bunch of them for various things including the space elevator all right right there right where I'm pointing you can see there's a miner up there and there's also a constructor and then there's a uh, a storage facility that's actually where I'm getting some more concrete from. So I'm just going to let that go. See, one of the reasons I wired everything together is because eventually you're going to have to do that. You know, if I find a coal location and I got coal burners going, I mean, they're going to have to be plugged into the whole network in order to power the whole network. Another thing I was thinking of, you know, I put those burners all the way around there and way back there with the concrete. I'm thinking, why don't I just put them around here, wire them all together, that way I can just keep an eye on them without running off into some corner to find out if it actually needs some more biomass. It's something I'm considering. It depends on how much space I have after we put this down. I'm thinking that we have enough room there. That should do the job. By the way, yeah, the gifts are still falling. You know, I grab one of the gifts, and then the satisfactory voice came on and said, enjoy your gift, now get back to work. I'm like, I am working, my factories are going. See, a lot good part about this is that you get everything set up and you're just letting the factory do its job. I was doing some exploring and I found some wrecks. We're gonna have to check them out. There's one straight across over there. The thing is, I didn't wanna go anywhere near it because it had two batches of flies. And I wasn't really ready for that. There was another wreck over there that had some hogs. You know, the guys, they run around on the ground, they charge you. And um, that one said it needed 21 rotors. So I can't make rotors yet. And I think I need the assembler for that. So that one is going to have to wait. This one might be just power. Sometimes they're just power. You put down the, the biomass burner, connect it, turn it on, and it works. I don't know. That's usually the way it is. Uh, the one over there wanted rotors. All right, so let's get going. The first and foremost thing is, of course, the space elevator. And I am carrying what I need for that. So let's hook this guy in. All right, I want... Yeah, that's like really big. All right, so where are the inputs? They're on both sides, aren't they? All right, so I think for now we can just drop that down. I could just pick it up again if I need to. But I think for now, let's just drop it. Where is the panel? The panel is really what I want access to. Hold it a minute. I can't tell. I'm guessing that that's gonna be where it is. All right, why don't we just drop it right there? All right, and break out of that. 
All right, so what happens is this thing is constructed and then a cable comes down from space. All right. All right, it's in place. And now what happens, see it's opening up. So then a cable is coming down and it's gonna lock in place. I'm not sure which it's locking in place. Is it locking in the planet? Or is it locking in the uh, space station? So here it comes. And boom. And now it's just gonna lock right in. And then boom. All right, and of course, that is the space elevator. That's what we're gonna be using to send things up. This will be used to unlock further tiers. See, what you want to give it is going to go in there. All right, so let's go over here. I mean, I haven't even done anything for tier one or tier two, but we're about to see what we're going to need to unlock tiers three and four. All right, so where is it now? Yeah, right, this is going to unlock tiers three and four. Okay, what is it that I need? I need smart plating. I can't even make spark plating. So when I have 50 smart plating, I can just load that up, pull it, and it'll send, and then I will get tier three and tier four. Okay, so we better get busy, busy, busy. And for me, that means unlocking time has come because there's a couple of things I desperately need. Uh, inventory space is a really good one. I also do want to... Um, get the chainsaw and have access to the better fuel. All right, so let's go in here. And I'm actually gonna skip over to tier two. Do I already have this obstacle clearing? I can do obstacle clearing. Yes, I can. That's gonna give me the chainsaw, the solid biofuel, and it's gonna give me three extra inventory slots. So let's do that. Oh, I have to do the drag and drop. All right, so why don't we just do that then? Okay, the screws, and then we have the cables, and I guess it's also concrete. All right, so the way this works is we load this up, and the little ship goes into space. There it is. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. Can R&D inflate my money? Okay, so we have access to stuff now. All right, this was, I believe, my equipment workshop. So I should be able to make a chainsaw now. I will need the parts. What is this? Screws. Okay, well, let me get some screws. Gee, I wonder where I could possibly find screws. I have no idea where I can find screws. Actually, I'm probably gonna need more, so let's just grab more screws. There we go. Because I want a chainsaw. All right, and let's go back over here. All right, and there is my chainsaw, so let's just make it. So this thing is important because the portable miners. Remember, if you're going to make a big miner, you need to have a portable miner. They gave you a lot at the beginning, but at this point, if I want to put down another miner, I'm going to need a portable miner. So I even made one because I was planning on doing something, and then it's like, you know, it can wait. All right, so I have my chainsaw. All right, now here's my question. Can I make the other thing down here? Oh, the solid biofuel. All right, so the way it works is you make the biomass and then you make the solid biofuel from that. So let's just see how quickly that's going to work out. Right, obviously I'm going to be holding down this key for a long time, but I do believe I can make that in a constructor. All right, we're just going to hold on to that for now. All right, I'm going to try to use just that in the future when these guys run out. How are you doing here? Okay, 115, probably also 115, right. All right. Let me just take a quick look at a constructor for a moment. And recipes. Oh, I'm not looking at a constructor. I'm looking at a smelter. I wouldn't find that there. And yep, there it is right there. So the way this works 
What I usually do is it is slow making the solid biofuel. I'll take a lot of biomass, put it into a storage facility, have the storage facility load into a constructor, just basically have it make that and load it into a second storage when it's done. That way I don't have to stand there all day pressing a button. And let's face it, there's no real way to actually load it in because otherwise, you know, how are you gonna automate that? Am I right? This is Milestone kind of like- exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. Oh, it came back. That means I can get something else. All right, so let's get over here. I'm going back to tier one now because I want something else. Um, field research. Do I have what I need for that? I am short in wire. All right, let's take a look at what else I need here. First of all, that's I got the plating, I got the screws. I do want logistics. I'm gonna need plating for that. I'm gonna need more wire for that. And then I'm gonna need base building. I can do base building right now. Let's do base building right now. Boom. All right, let's see. Um, I have this, it's pointing to it right on top here so I can just do this and then do this and boom, you're gone. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. In other words, I can make those are walls foundations. So I can make a bunch of these. They require, okay, those require plates. It used to be they only required um, the concrete. Interesting. Okay, so they made it a little harder to do this. It used to be you just used concrete, right? And you could just put that there. And then you can put another one. Okay, hello, why are you doing that? Maybe it doesn't want to go that way. Anyway, you can make bridges and such like this to get around the terrain, but at the moment, I am just going to take that back. Thank you. Okay, it's good for, like, getting up to places, too, because they do have ramps in there. All right, I'm going to have to do some gathering if we're going to unlock some more stuff. So the things that I really want now, I want the rest of the... Uh, of this. I can't do it right now because I'm waiting for the uh, the ship to come back. All right, splitter would be really useful. But then again, this will give me MAM. And I do need to do some MAM stuff. This will also give me another hand slot, which is very useful, and some more inventory. All right, for this one, I'm gonna need plates, and I'm gonna need uh, wire, and I do hear it's come back. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot of wire, and then I'm gonna need plates, and I'm gonna need rods. All right, so it came back, right? Yeah, there it is, it's loading in again. All right, let me go do some gathering. So, I do believe I have what I need now to unlock the other two parts of tier one. Uh, I took a little bit of time to set this up. It's what I was just talking about a moment ago. So you have a container over here that's going to be feeding this constructor, which is actually plugged in way over there. I told you this was a mess. Uh, when I get the better power poles, I'm gonna rewire. See, the next one actually allows six connections and it's gonna help a lot. It is gonna be a mess though, but you never know. By that time, I might have taken all this apart. And this is going to be the output. It's all gonna go there. And what am I talking about? Well, I loaded a whole bunch of biomass in here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say hey you make me solid biofuel so what's gonna happen is what's in this container is gonna flow into here and this is going to construct the solid mass right there and it's all gonna gather right there so what I'm gonna be doing is cutting down trees with my chainsaw basically turning it into biomass and I'm going to put it in there and it's automatically going to turn into the solid fuel because this stuff is a lot better. That's the last thing I get until coal. So how do I get coal? I do believe coal is going to be in tier three and four, which means 
I need to fulfill what that space elevator needs, and I also need to complete the tiers over here. So let's get some uh, tier one stuff going here. You know, I think I'm gonna go with the, um, the splitter first. The splitter, the merger, the conveyor belt. I, I see it as the splitter and the merger because they're so important. So why don't we just do them first? All right, and you can have that. And then you can have that. And then you can have that. And boom. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. All right, I do believe what that means is for the power cells here. All right, it hasn't opened the screen yet here, has it? Maybe I don't have it yet? Okay, because I should be getting a display screen over here. I'm not getting that yet. Okay, so I'm thinking the first place we do some splitting should be over here. Okay, what's going on with that? Oh, did that run out? Okay, that one ran out. See, that's the reason I think I should move them all over. I'm, I'm going to do that because otherwise this is going to be a pain. Oh, and you know what I don't have? I turn all my my uh, I turn all my stuff into the uh, solid biofuel, and I don't have any on me right now. Yeah, considering I'm about to um, okay, we're gonna do it anyway. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Oh, do I have room for this? Yeah, I have room here. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I am going to. This might be a little tricky, but let's just see how this works. All right, grab that. All right, by the way, it gave me all the ore too, so I have the ore. All right, so I wanna make a splitter. What do I need? Yeah, yeah, okay, here, we'll do this again. We'll do this again, because you put the splitter into the uh, active one over here. All right, hold it, hold it, right? Okay, I need to get in a better position for this. All right, and, all right, hold it, there. Okay. All right, I think this is an output over here. I hope it's an output. Oh, I have to cut down some trees, don't I? How very, very unfortunate. All right, I'm back. And I have some biofuel. Ooh, lovely, very lovely. Lots of wood for me. There we go. All right, and I'm just going to do this just for the fun of it. Besides, I am going to need a lot of this to feed the beast of my factory until I get coal. All right, so we're good to go. All right, let me just change that out. Don't I have... Oh, I don't have that yet. I don't have that yet. Hold on a second. Let me get the, um, the zapper back in my hands there. Okay, so we have a splitter, but it's not going anywhere at the moment. So what I want to do is I'm going to set up another smelter because what I want to do... See, notice how slow it's moving there? Yeah, I mean, it could easily be feeding another line and that is exactly what we're going to do. All right, so I need a smelter. And where is it? It's coming in over this way. All right, I have to push it. Actually, I'm probably better off doing it from this side so I can see better. We're going to have, because we're going to have to make a little bit of a turn here, aren't we? All right, and down. All right, that should be good. All right, just cancel out of that for the moment. It's probably a little wider than it needs to be, but boom. All right, so you see the miner is now going to feed two lines. Um, I have to actually plug these in. I'm going to need another power pole, too because otherwise that one is going to max out really quickly. How many are in there? See, there's, I found an iron node up here. Even though this area seems to be a little bit haunted. 
right there and that's actually a pure one so I want to build something there I was thinking of building a little factory to construct the reinforced plates reinforced plates are the um, the plates you know the regular iron plates they're screws and then they get put together in an assembler so I'm thinking I do that right there and then put it all in a storage box for now that way I don't have to manually make the uh, reinforced plates which is a little on the annoying side do you have your nuts back you have your nuts back yeah they have been growing back that's the reason you want to grab them as quickly as possible because they will just keep regrowing it's a wonderful thing I have a full stack of a hundred in my little uh, storage box there Okay, so now obviously this guy is waiting, one, for power, two, he's waiting for something to do with it. In this case, I also want two constructors. Do I have what I need for that, though? There is your question. All right, you there. And I should have enough for that. There we go. Right, and then, of course, I'm going to need a little box all right so line that up like that boom okay hold that a minute boom all right so let's uh wire this all up first we'll put that in there that constructor is going to go in there that constructor is going to go in there that smelter is going to feed that constructor and that one is already being fed Okay, so power pole. I'm going to need two, actually. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm not going to need two. Okay. This, is, this one's going to be done, though, because I'm not going to be able to put anything else off of it. All right. I hope I don't overload the whole thing doing this. Should be interesting. All right. So you, first and foremost, connect to that. All right. How is the network doing at the moment? 70. Something ran out of power. If I do this, the whole thing goes boom. It's probably this one over here. Hold on a minute. All right. Um, I grabbed a bunch of these. So can I half that? Yes, I can. There we go. All right. So if I had actually plugged in these guys, the whole thing would have stopped dead okay we're still on 70 it takes a little while for the network to learn okay still 70 okay come on what are you doing over here learn already learn I mean it's up and it's going what is the problem there we go we're back to 100 yeah, I don't know why that takes so long. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense for gameplay, if you know what I mean. All right, so let's do some hooking up here. All right, we're going to hook you to him. We're going to hook you to him. And then we're going to hook you to him. Okay, so it's waiting for instructions. Copper ingots. And from here... I want you to make wire. And from here, I want you to make cable, which is, you know, you use wire to make cable. And then, of course, it's going to dump it all in there. See, that is the power of the splitter. And, of course, the merger, too, is also very useful. But you can see, see how it's flowing nicely now? It wasn't flowing nicely before. It was waiting. The miner was waiting to give it to somebody. Now, all of a sudden, it has a steady flow going to both of them now, doesn't it? You know, it might still be overflowing. I could probably put another chain on the other side if I could fit it, which I don't think I could. I'd have to do some crazy conveyor belt stuff to have it turn around and come over to this side. But I think that's going to do for now. Yes, I do believe that's going to do for now. And like I said, I'm going to do the same thing up here. By the way, I think that thing should be back, so we should be able to unlock something else. All right, so I'm going to keep getting the copper wire, which is always going to be useful here. 
but I am going to be getting cable. See, I'm already getting cable. It's already starting to build up. And just being able to automate that and say, go take care of that. I'll worry about it going into a system later. For now, I just want to have the things available. Like I said, the uh, reinforced plates, I'm probably going to build a factory up there to do that. But I am going to need the assembler for that. And that is available in Tier 2. However, I do want to finish up Tier 1. And I have to watch the power situation because it could end up becoming an issue. All right, so do I have what I need for this? Yes, I do. So this one's going to give me the map. It's going to give me another hand slot, more inventory space, and it's going to give me ma'am. All right, so let's see. You can have that, and then you can have a little bit more, and then we're going to have some screws, and then we're going to... Here, I can put a whole bunch of this stuff in here. Uh, this one here. There we go, and boom, you're done. And so is Tier 1. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner, and beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. So I have a new hand slot so I can just switch between the them The map now. has been unlocked. Okay, so here's where I am right now. There's where I am. And this is the map. Okay, what is that? And why can I see it? Very strange. Very strange indeed. And there is the space elevator. I didn't go over there, did I? I don't think so. Unless I teleported. Oh well. All right, so let's see. What do we need to do some more advancement? All right, so, oh, that one is launched. I can't do anything until it comes back. All right, so you can see Tier 1 has been completed. Now, Tier 2, part assembler. This is the assembler over here now, and the rotor. I do need rotors. Doing them by hand is very painful. The difference between a constructor and an assembler is the assembler requires two inputs. So in other words, everything made by the assembler requires you to get two things. Now here's the thing. This one also includes the smart plating. The smart plating is what I need to open up the next two tiers in the space elevator. You can see it right on the top there on the right. It's telling me I need 50 of those. So this is really what I should be unlocking next. I do require a lot of cables. I'm wondering how that guy is doing with that. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start opening this one right now because it is very important. So what I can do is I can just load in what I have for the moment. Oh, it's not back yet. All right, since it's not back yet, let me see what I can do about cables. I do believe I have everything now, so let's go into the hub and let's drop this stuff off. All right, so I got cables. I got some extra in case I need it. I got my rods, I got some screws, and where's the plating? Oh, did I come up short in the plating? Ooh, just short, 15. You know what? I'm not going anywhere. I can't, I don't have any, I, I had a whole bunch of these. As a matter of fact, let me just grab them. All right, I, for some reason, I have a whole bunch of the, uh, I have them there. Why wasn't I able to do that? I was able to do that. All right, I just didn't realize it. All right, let's just make 15. There we go. That'll do. And if I need more, I'll get them. All right, let's throw the last one in. There we go. Let's hit the little button. Boom. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. Yep, and that's the thing. The smart plating is very likely going to require the assembler. Let's just take a quick look to see. I very much doubt whether it's here. All right, we are getting some new things like the modular frame. 
And the rotor. Ooh, I can actually make rotors. Ooh, I can make rotors. I can only make 17, but you know, I see the limiting factors as controllable. We can go unlock what's in that ship over there. There's usually good recipes. Okay, can I make an assembler just to take a quick look at it? Let's see. Uh, it would be in production, and there it is right there. Oh, I need rotors for that. No, I can't, can I? Well, you know what? I just saw... Oh, I also need... Um, I also need reinforced plates, too, don't I? All right, well, I got a couple of things I need to work on. But you know what? I think the first thing I want to do is we're going to get some rotors, and I want to unlock that crashed ship that I saw the other day. Let's see. I needed that. What was the other thing I needed? I think it was screws. Let me just check. I think it was screws. Where is the rotor? Rotor. Yes, screws. How many can I make now? Wait a minute. I can make 20. Yeah, but I'm one short. I do think it's actually screws that's the bottleneck. So let's grab some screws. And then we're going to take a little walk. All right, I'll just take those. There we go. Watch, it's actually the rotors that I needed. And I failed at math. Nope, that's it. All right, so let me make a whole bunch of rotors. Yeah, it is not fun making these things manually. But you know what? Since it only requires the rods and the screws, I could probably do something with this. You know, I might be able to split the rods off to another one, have rods on one side, screws on the other, and then make an assembler right over here. Or maybe I'll do it up there. Yeah, maybe I'll do it up there. Anyway, I do have the uh, rotors right now in order to uh, open up that wreck. So let's get over there. It's over that way and up and around. All right, there it is. I also didn't pick up anything. There's usually a lot of good stuff lying around, but I figure I'd make that all part of one thing. Yeah, I'm looking here because one of those plasma spitters was there. Wait a minute, what is that? That's a power slug. I'm going to have to get that. I need that power slug. All right, so some cable over here, and we got some wire. Did I hear something moving? Because I killed what was over here. Okay, I keep hearing something. It's freaking me out. All right, anything else around here that I want to pick up? Oh, uh, we got some modular frames. That's good. Okay, and I nearly got killed by that. Wonderful. All right, anything else around here that I want to pick up? Okay, so we're opening this. Okay, so it needs 21 rotors. We have 32, so let's open that up. All right. Okay, what did I... Oh, that's right. I get the hard drive, and then I have the hard drive Data analyzed. Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Okay, that's actually a very good thing. All right, so I think I do that in the ma'am. Wait a minute. Wood, wood, wood. I want wood, lots of wood. I mean, it's dead already. I feel good about it. Okay, now this fellow, because I want that power shard. Well, it's a power slug that I can turn into a power shard. It's just that this guy is dangerous. Very dangerous. His big brother is deadly. Ow! Come on. Is he dead? Nope, he's not. He was playing dead. Okay. Key, stay behind him. See, he's a plasma spitter. Hello, little one. How are you doing?
You're going to be used to uh, overpower one of my devices. Isn't that nice? I see some stuff over here. Does that go underground? I'm not going anywhere near that because there might be cats in there. Yes, I do have the arachnophobia thing set. We will only be seeing cats. All right, so where am I right now? I am all the way over here, so I have to get back to my base. Shouldn't take very long. We need to make a ma'am. All right, I have the reinforced plate, so let's do this. Oh, I didn't want to do that over here, did I? No, I wanted to do it on the other side. And that's where I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it on the other side. All right, right about there should be good. Boom. I don't have the power of that, do I? Hmm. All right, so let's take a quick look here. I think I put specimens in here. Hard drive, right there. All right, let's throw that one in. Oh, I already have it. Okay, scan hard drive. That, unfortunately, is going to take 10 minutes. So we'll wait 10 minutes. It'll go really quickly. Now that didn't take too long. Well, at least for you. Now these hard drives can have some really good recipes. Sometimes it's amazing. So let's see. Oh, that's actually the one I wanted the most. Because that means I can go right from the ingots right to screws. So yeah, absolutely, this one right here. Okay, and I want more hard drives. Yeah, that one means that I can go, I can take this constructor out completely and just do this. I can now switch over to this recipe and again, I can now make screws right out of ingots. So I don't need this entire constructor anymore. All I have to do is, well, I guess I could take this one out and then just extend the, um, the what's in the conveyor over there. But oh yeah, that is a great one because everything is gonna require screws. So being able to do them without having to go to uh, the iron rods is amazing. By the way, I think I do have the parts to do this now. I'm just going to put it here for now. All right. That is an assembler. And the assembler has one output. And the assembler has two inputs. So the thing that we need to make is smart plating. In order to make smart plating, I need rotors and I need reinforced iron plates. So those are the two things that I need. So I'm going to have to get busy, busy, busy. And I'm also going to have to suck that up again. There we go. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. If you want to see more of this series, please give the video a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.